What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So last time we set up our rock counting machines to be compatible with RF. That's right, guys. So we uh, are now using RF instead of the Energized Fuel Blend. We're getting power through the immersive engineering wiring, which is coming over from our water wheel over here. So, yes, our water wheel is powering all of these machines, which are allowing us to do the rock counting stuff so much easier uh, so we had a lot of our uninspected mineral go through our mineral sizer, get turned into the different types of minerals that it sized, I guess. Uh, we ran those through our mineral analyzer, and then we got a bunch of these different pieces. Those pieces we've ran through our chemical extractor with a little bit of hydrofluoric acid and some syngas, and we've been uh, filling up all these different bars and making different dusts in this machine. It seemed pretty complicated until I set it all up and actually started using it. It doesn't really seem that complicated. The hardest part of this whole operation is just trying to get all these different fluids, the sulfuric acid, the hydrofluoric, and the hydrochloric. Yeah, it's a little bit convoluted to get all that stuff, but once you get them, this whole process is pretty simple. So I've been running a lot of our different uh, materials here, our different shards, through our chemical extractor, and this is the amount of stuff that we got right now. Now, this isn't everything. As you saw over there, there's still more shards. But yeah, I feel like this is a probably good amount of all the stuff that we need at this point in time. So we started on this path because we were looking at trying to get a sag mill, right? So a sag mill, as we saw for the recipe, required this tongue steel stuff. And this is from ATM Raw Counting. And the way you get that through the metal alloyer with these different dusts in there, right? So that gives us this tongue steel. We have, I think, all of this stuff now. So this isn't that big of a deal. However, I went and I looked at the machine chassis and yeah, I saw that this does require refined obsidian. So that is mechanism. Refined obsidian is made with an osmium compressor and this refined obsidian dust and you get the refined obsidian dust or a metallurgic confuser. Yeah, so we got a little bit of mechanism to do before we can even try to get to Ender IO. <laughs> All right, so our first step is we're gonna need a metallurgic infuser. Metallurgic infuser, and then we're going to need an osmium compressor. Okay, so the metallurgic infuser is a fairly easy recipe. I was actually quite surprised how easy this is. So it's just some iron, some redstone, a couple of furnaces, one piece of osmium that is smelted, an osmium ingot. Yeah, so that seems rather easy. So we do have the things available here in order to make our furnaces. So let's go ahead and do that. So there is a two furni. I guess we get an achievement for that for some reason. Two redstone, four iron, and was it one osmium ingot? Do we have osmium in here? Osmium, osmium. We have these, but I don't think we've ever processed any. Let me go ahead and do something. Get all the way over here. Osmium. No, I don't see any processed osmium. Okay, so this is the first time we're going to have to mess with this stuff now. Let's take a look at the uses real quick because I don't know if we can double it or if we just smelt it directly. We might be able to put it through the alloy or I guess the uh, the smeltery and double it that way. So it looks like we can put it through the crusher. Any other way to double this? So the alloy smelter doubles it automatically, it looks like, but we don't have that yet, obviously. Uh, so enrichment chinger, do, 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 macerator will double it. Quartz grindstone will double it. All right, so I guess what we want to do is take these ores, run it through our macerator over here. We'll double the dust, and then we'll figure out how to smelt that down, either in the smeltery or some other means. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and run nine ingots through there. Uh, I'm just going to assume that we'll be able to take the dust through the smeltery, and then we should be able to cast out the blocks of the stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and wait for this stuff to process through and smelt it down into the ingot form. Then we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so we got our osmium dust ready to go. I went to throw it into the smeltery, but it does not melt in there. Right. So when you put something in the smeltery and you get these gray bars here, that pretty much means you can't do anything with it in the smeltery. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. We'll take it over here and we'll just put it into our vanilla furnace. Shift clicking, it won't go. We can't click it in there, but that doesn't do anything. <laughs> So we can't really do anything with this osmium dust. So I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right. 
what can we do with this? So I went to look at the recipes. We can turn it into some of these various parts, right? Uh, we can use an arc furnace to turn that into an ingot. We can use an alloy smelter to turn those into ingots, but we need the ingots before we can even make the alloy smelter. We can also put it into a combiner and turn it back into the osmium ore, should we choose to do that. So pretty much the only option we're left with right now is the arc furnace. Hmm. So that's immersive engineering. I think I've made one of those a long time ago, but I've never really used it much. Anyway, it's a multi-block structure. I do believe it's under the heavy machinery section here, arc furnace. So it says the arc furnace is a massive structure used to quickly smelt metals. It consists of a steel vat topped by electrodes, which heat up the metal. The furnace excels at smelting ores and creates steel due to its high speed and its ability to process multiple items at the same time. But it is also complex in its working and will require maintenance in order to continue functioning. Slag must be removed from the machine or it will cease to function and degrading electrodes need to be replaced over time. To form the structure, assemble it and then click it with the hammer, etc. Anyway, so the machine itself requires a cauldron, which is fine. 14 steel sheet metal slabs, 8 steel sheet metals. Uh, steel block, or I'm sorry, six steel blocks, five steel scaffoldings, one redstone engineering block, 10 light engineering blocks, five heavy engineering blocks, and 27 reinforced blast brick. That's the part that I'm worried about. Rein, reinforced blast brick, these. Uh, so in order to make that we need the blast brick, which we've already made before for a blast oven We need to get 27 more of those and then we need to wrap that with steel plates each <laughs> Oh my goodness. So that is so much steel that we're gonna need uh, Currently, let's take a look at the amount of steel that we have That is the wrong one this one all the steel we have right now all of it right there that's it. That's all of our steel. I don't know if we have any steel from the rock counting stuff. Let's go take a look real quick. I don't remember if the uh, steel was that big of a deal to make, actually. I know we made some of this earlier on. We never touched it. There is no steel in here. Okay. So to make this stuff, let's go back real quick. So the recipe for this was made. Blast furnace. Yeah, iron just does its thing and turns into steel with some slag. So we need to get a whole lot of iron ran through our blast furnace. Uh, was there any other ways that we can do that right now? Actually, now that we progress a little bit more into the mod pack, uh, let's see, casting crusher, metal, metal former, compressor, macerator. No, I think the only way we can make the steel is through that same blast furnace. So yeah, we're going to need quite a lot of steel put through there. Yeah, I think that's going to be over 100 ingots if I if I can do the math correctly in my head. Currently, we have seven. Uh, we have a lot more of this stuff that we can go ahead and process. That is not iron. We have a lot more of these different materials that we can process and turn into iron to put through the machine. Yeah, I got a long road ahead of me to get this going. So that is what I'm about to start working on. Uh, so we'll start working on making that steel. Is there anything else in here that we need to take a look at? Maybe, maybe the, uh, light engineering block. There's probably also a lot more steel that needs to go in this thing. Actually light engineering block, anything crazy in here, more iron, uh, iron and copper. Okay. I was thinking those were going to be steel and some more copper. So each one of those recipes makes two, I guess that's not going to be super terrible, but we are going to need all that iron. And then the steel sheet metal slab. Let's take a look at those. Uh, steel sheet metal. So we need the full blocks to get four of those. So one steel equals one block. That's fine. And the slab. Okay. So one block equals two of the slabs. That won't be so difficult. We just have to make a whole lot of iron and get a whole lot of steel cooking up, guys. I'm going to get working on this. We'll be back. Oh my goodness, guys. So that took a lot longer than I was thinking that was going to take. It's like, oh, let's just, you know, get some steel, get some iron cooked up. No big deal. Yeah, uh, it took a, a few hours, actually. This is the next day I'm recording. I ran out of time to record <laughs> the rest of that video. 
Uh, this is going to be a day late because of that. So yeah, I had to go down into the branch mine and do a little bit more mining. Yeah, we needed to get the uh, coal coke blocks. We need one block for every one of the blast furnace bricks. We're pretty much out of this anthracite coal. You need this stuff in this mod pack uh, to go through the coke oven in order to get the coal coke, right? We already looked at that a while ago when we were making our coke oven. I forgot about that and I didn't want to disassemble our coke oven and or I'm sorry, our blast furnace that we already have because we need like another 27 blocks of that in order to make this arc furnace. Anyway, uh, so I went and I mined a whole lot of this stuff. We ran it through there. We got our 27 blocks of coal coke now. Uh, we needed 64 plus 44 steel plates, 64 plus 44 bronze ingots, 64 plus 44 purple blocks. Ah, so much stuff, guys. Um... So I think we're about ready. Whoops, I'm going down these stairs. I think we're about ready to start getting these things going here. Yeah, these blast bricks, as you guys remember, bronze, purple, coal, coke. So we should have enough for everything now. My goodness. Okay, so there's our blast brick. And then we got to upgrade that to the reinforced version. So hopefully we get enough stuff here. I think we should be able to do one of these numbers, one of those, do that. And there it is. There's our reinforced blast brick. 27 of those. My goodness. We still need a lot more stuff here. <laughs> so let's take a look back at our thing. So we have the reinforced blast brick. We have the cauldron. All right. Uh, I think steel sheet metal should probably be our next thing. We need eight of those. Uh, let oh yeah, yeah, steel plate. No, steel sheet metal. Oh, I already had them searched from yesterday. All right, so steel sheet metal. Yeah, so we need the steel plates. Each plate turns into four. I guess each plate turns into one, I mean. So we need the same amount of plates as we need for these blocks. So I need to take probably another half a stack of this and just run it through our metal former. I think I'll do that. We probably could count it out and get less. Maybe 16 is all we need, actually. Uh, I'll just put 16 through there. We'll let that cook up. So we're also going to need some of these other things like the... Oh, we need steel blocks. Okay. Uh, six steel blocks. I think we might have enough steel to do that. Let's see how many blocks we can make out of the current amount. I think a stack makes eight, right? Or seven? Okay, so we have six steel blocks. I didn't even see that before when I was looking at this recipe. So we got that one taken care of. We need steel scaffolding. Steel scaffolding is made with steel rods, it looks like, and some steel, or we can use this other stuff, which we don't have, uh, and then we can chisel it, apparently. Okay, so we need to figure out how we make these rods. All right, so two steel ingots on top of each other makes four of those rods. How many of these steel scaffoldings do we need in total? We need five. All right, so this recipe for this makes six. Okay, so we just need one recipe. So we need one of those. And one of these. So that should be everything that we need, yeah? For the steel scaffolding. All right, so we need a redstone engineering block. What does it take to make one of these? I hope it's not going to be anything crazy. It's something crazy. A <laughs> dawnstone ingot. Redstone iron wiring. Oh, okay. Well, that looks complicated, but it's not that bad. So a stick. Well, how many of those do we need, actually? Is it... Oh, we need four of those? Okay, so we need 16 redstone, four sticks. I think we got all this stuff. 16 redstone, four sticks. And then, was it iron? And then like eight iron. We have exactly eight here. Okay, so we should be able to make these guys. All right, so there's that. And then we need iron plates. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this Dawnstone ingot, you know, I know we made... Oh, we have them right here. I was going to say, I know we made the Dawnstone plates. I thought we had Dawnstone plates. Did I leave them down here? Oh, I do. Okay, so yeah, we made a bunch of these extra ones before. I forgot we had the ingots or not. Okay, so we have that. We just need to make these iron plates now, which we can do in the smeltery, so that should be just fine. If I grab a little bit more iron, we have all those iron blocks now with all the smelting that I did. Yeah, we can just uh, put that through the smeltery and just cast those out on plates since our metal former, I think, whoop, is preoccupied right... What am I doing? <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. I think our metal former is uh, still being used right now. Oh, it's almost done. Okay, well, let me go ahead and finish rolling this stuff out. Is there anything crazy else here? 
Uh, the heavy engineering block. Let's take a look at that real quick. The heavy engineering block requires more steel and more steel. Electrum ingot, that's fine. And pistons. Okay, well, I think everything else is going to be pretty easy to do. Let me go ahead and finish getting this stuff going here. And we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So we got this machine all set up over here. <laughs> it took me a while to figure this out. Like, which ones are the light engineering blocks and which ones are the heavy one? I mean, I can tell which ones they are when I place it. But when you're looking at the manual here for when the this multi-block structure is being made, it's kind of hard to differentiate which ones are which. Like, you can tell those are steel blocks. And then I could, or you can tell these are steel sheet metal. I didn't know those are the steel blocks till later. But yeah, those are the steel blocks. The uh, colored ones back here, the copper colored ones, these are the light engineering blocks. And then these ones on the side and the bottom down here, those are the heavy ones. Yeah, so it took me a minute to try and figure that out, get all the things laid around in the correct places. And I think we got everything set up now. So the last step is we just have to smack this thing with the engineer's hammer somewhere. Wherever it is, one of these places there on this thing, this one, this one, this one. Oh, got it. Okay. So yes, you do that on the cauldron and that will form it. Okay. So the next step that we, oh, that popped that torch off. Let's get that torch back on here. We want to make sure this thing is properly lit up. So the next thing is we're going to have to get this thing some power. Uh, normally on these machines, there's like a little copper power thing. Thing that these is that a green thing? Actually, it might be these back here. These kind of look like power plugs, don't they? Maybe that's where it gives us power from. Well, our power is on the other side of the water wheel. We might have to do like another relay or two or something over here to get those hooked up. Okay. Uh, also, I remember this machine has like a spot, whoop, a uh, spot for like electrodes. And I think that's what these are up here. I think when you get them put in there they actually will show up here uh so yeah that's a spot for those uh so yeah this is gonna allow us to smelt down some osmium but yeah we're definitely gonna have to figure out how to get the power from here all the way over i guess to the back side of this thing i might have to run a couple of relays which is fine we have extras uh so yeah that's gonna be our next step so i do have a copper wire coil i was gonna run it right off this one right to the front or wherever the power is. But yeah, it looks like it's on the back. So we'll definitely have to get ourselves some more relays. And then that's also going to mean that we need more copper cables. So I'll just take like, I guess nine copper ingots. I'll run that through our metal former, turn those into wires. And then we should be able to take those and make a few more of our copper spool thingies. Actually, I guess eight of them should give us three, right? I think so. Since you get three wires per, you need eight wires to go around a thing. Yeah, I think that should be fine. All right, so we will make those. Uh, we should have some more relays, wire relays. We have a connector on us. All right, I think we should be good to go. Uh, the only other thing, I guess we need three sticks to make the coils. Cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let the copper go through our machine over here. I'll let all these things finish up. We'll make three more wire coils. We'll run our wires over to the machine, and hopefully we'll be able to start making some osmium. All right, guys, so we were able to take the power from our relay here and put it to another relay, to another relay, and then over to the back of our machine here. Yep, and then that connected right to uh, these plugs on the back. So, yes, our machine now has power. If I can click on it somewhere, there it is. So, yeah, we got 64,000 RF stored up, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, I was going to look and see how we get the electrodes for this thing to make it work since we got the whole machine set up. So I went to go look here, electrode. Graphite electrode, yeah, I think that's it. Integrity 100%. Uh, we need a metal press. <laughs> we need HOP graphite ingots put through a metal press to get us a graphite electrode of 50%. Well, that doesn't seem right. So if we go to the engineer's workbench, yeah, we can get an engineer's blueprint. I don't know how to make this. I'll figure that out later. Uh, so we need HOP graphite ingots either way. So the HOP graphite stuff comes from HOP graphite dust smelted. Right, so the HOP graphite stuff uh, comes from the industrial squeezer. Yeah, so we need to make ourselves an industrial squeezer, guys. Uh, so that requires eight coke dust put through the squeezer to get us one HOP graphite dust. Uh huh. So the uh, squeezer, 
So we are going to need six more steel scaffolding, two fluid pipes, one redstone engineering block, two light engineering block. If I could keep my mouth on there, four wooden barrel, one piston, and three steel fence. Now that's not a huge shopping list. That's actually a little bit easier, I think, than what our arc furnace was. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that we we're going to need all this stuff in order to make the electrodes for this, but we do. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start crafting up all the things that we need for this. It's going to take a little bit more resources, a little bit more time. I'm going to get working on that. Hopefully we'll get that squeezer set up here in just a second and we'll be your bean. All right, guys. So this should be our industrial squeezer. Yep. It's a lot smaller, a lot less complicated of a multi-block structure than this arc furnace was, that's for sure. So yeah, we had to do like four of these wooden barrels and a piston. You can just right click on the piston with the hammer or whatever. A uh, wrench usually works too in modern Minecraft to change its orientation. I think it shows it has to be facing down, but I'm not really sure if that matters. But anyway, uh, we should just be able to click this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, should just be able to click that and get everything going. So like this one, for instance, has this little dot in the center. That's what I was looking for on this machine. I was almost thinking those were going to be the power ports, but no. Uh, on this one, I do believe it's this spot right here. Oh, you know what? I did not bring a wire connector. I have <laughs> wire relays. I do not believe that the wire relay works in place of a wire connector. I could be wrong. I don't think it works that way, though. I don't think that provides any power. Do we have any more wire connectors? Yes, we do. Okay, so there is a wire connector. We don't need those relays, and we also have LV wire. Okay, so now we should be able to take these things <laughs> and get them all hooked up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, so you remember all that iron and steel that we had? Yeah, we don't really have much of that anymore. I put another stack of iron into our blast furnace over there to cook that up. Uh, but yeah, our iron supply <laughs> is not looking so good anymore. All right, so are we good here? Yeah, so we're gaining power here just fine. Awesome. All right, so this thing requires, I think it was eight coal coke that was ground up. To be put in there at a time to make one HOP. So we need a lot of coal coke. Uh, we have some extras here. And then we got more steel being made here. Looks like half a stack is already done. So I assume we can put this stuff through the macerator. I needed this silver ore earlier to make some electrum. Uh, so let's see. Put that in there. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's look at the uses on this thing. Is there a way to grind that? I guess it'd probably be better if we went to the, uh, if we search for the coal coke or maybe HOP. Let's go back to this. So HOP comes from coke dust and we get coke dust. Oh no, we have to build a crusher too. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we need a crusher to take the coal coke and crush it into this coal dust. Oh no. Okay. So let's take a look at that one. Now I, I, I don't know guys. Let's take a look at this. All right. So this is looking like another big machine. So we need all the steel scaffolding. Is that steel scaffolding? Mm, yeah, that's steel scaffolding. All of these hoppers. Uh, 10 light engineering blocks. We're we don't have enough iron for this and then uh, Eight steel fences. Okay. Well the steel I think we're gonna have under control here We'll let that continue cooking up, but as far as the iron situation goes We definitely need to do something about that now I did mine up a little bit of the magnetite ore so those give us three per when we put that through the macerator but the only thing is putting it through the macerator takes a lot of time. We haven't gotten any overclock or upgrades on this thing yet. So, uh, that's a thing I'd like to do here pretty soon, but this is the speed. Yeah. So each one of those should give us three of the crushed iron ore. I, I guess that's the ore dust from the rock hounding mod, the iron dust from the rock hounding. Yeah. Uh, so three of those, and then we got to wait until we get nine, put it into our smell tree over here and then cast out the block. Anyway, this is going to take a bunch of time. Let me go ahead, let this process finish up once again, try and get the resources going, and maybe we'll see if we can get that crusher hooked up. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we got yet another immersive engineering machine set up over here. It's so immersive. I know. <laughs> so anyway, 
Uh, yeah, this should be our crusher. This should be all set to go. I think we click uh, here. Oh, turning the hopper. Is that bad? No, I think that works just fine. So yes, uh, we click it right there on that center steel scaffolding. So yeah, we got our multi-block structure here. The power for this is right here. Yeah, I noticed in the book, if you click the stop button, you can kind of rotate it the way that the multi-block structure will look. And you can see like where things are going to be when you place it and which orientation. So yeah, if we place the, whoops, somehow I put that in my offhand there. If we place this LV wire connector here, we should just be able to shift or click and then bring it all the way over here, hopefully. Looks like that worked, right? Now there might be power loss. There probably is. These wires can only go so far and then they start losing power per block. I don't know what the distance is. It's getting power. That's all I really care about, to be honest. Uh, efficiency really isn't that big of a deal with this particular thing. Um, I guess this doesn't have an interface on there. I was trying to right click on this thing and there is nowhere to right click. Now I do know you drop items in and then like it shoots it out to the front here. So we could put a chest here to collect. But yeah, we do got to drop the items into this thing somehow. Uh, so we'll figure out how to do that later for now. I think we'll take a stack. Do we have it? No, we'll take a stack of coal coke. I did something with that. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, you know what? I probably smelted down <laughs> a stack of steel is what I did. Uh, so we'll take this. Let's grab ourselves a chest. I don't think we have one. Maybe I'm just going to make one up real quick. They said, at least I don't think we have one made. We might, we might, you know, what? let's make two chests because because we can and I have this stuff in my inventory or we'll just make one. What happened to the other stuff? Now there's two there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we will take this over and uh, put it in front of the machine. Yeah, we need to drop the stuff into the hopper of this machine here and then I'll start grinding it up. Yeah, I'll just place that like that, I guess something like that. You can use the chest to kind of jump up here. Now I do know this does damage. You don't want to jump in there because yeah, you'll have a bad time. So I think we just take those and do one of those numbers. Yeah, there it goes. So now it's grinding up. Oh, it's got a status bar on there. I don't think I had that before. Hmm. Anyway, so we are getting Coke dust. We need eight of those to put through the squeezer to get one HOP. And I think we needed 12 HOP things in order to make the electrodes. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of time before we get all of this stuff done. Let's try putting this in here and see what happens. I think that goes into the blue slot. Let's go here. Uh, why you no go in? Did I make the wrong machine? Oh, no. You place it over here. Aha. <laughs> so, yes, we are not making enough power to keep up with all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so there's one HOP graphite. This I can't see. Oh, you can't see the power up there. Wow, that holds 30,000. Okay, so we are losing a little bit of power right now. And that's probably because this machine is filling back up. And once that fills back up, we should start getting power over here. Yeah, that looks right. So our water wheel, while it is doing work, is not providing like a lot of power. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have to figure that out too. All right, well... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. We got a lot of stuff done, guys. This spanned me two days worth of materials and crafting and getting everything going. My goodness. Whoop. Hit F7 there. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully next time we'll be able to get all this stuff together. We'll start making the electrodes. We'll start into mechanism, the very beginnings. Yeah, we're trying to get those osmium ingots so we can do that. So hopefully... Next time, we should start into a little bit more advanced machines. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.